Papa Squat, coming at you. Uh, my cat is leaving right now. I thought he was going to stay up here because there was a, I don't know, not a cicada, but a hawk, no, not a hawk moth, a mosquito hawk sort of thing was in here, and he was chasing it around, and then I killed it, and he still thinks it's in here. Poor kitty, he is bored. Um, this was a recommendation, once again, from Hip Hop Rap Storage. Thank you again. Uh, Rub a Dub Dub by the Fabulous 3 MCs. Uh, it's about seven and a half minutes long. I listened to a little bit of it because the cat distracted me. Um, and it sounds good. Um, so let's jump in and just uh, enjoy. Coolio. Well, not Coolio, but you know what I mean. I like this. See, now this song, I think, feels very much like a song from 1981, and it is. Um, but it has the, like, almost exactly the right feel for me in terms of, like, there's some music in it, there's a strong beat to it, um, and there's rapping. And, and that's kind of... I mean, and that sounds so stupid to say, but there's not, like, a bunch of crazy stuff happening. They're not concentrating specifically on the music or specifically on the beat or specifically on the rapping. It, it's all three put together and in a really good way, and it's also, uh, well, it's a group, so we're going to hear a bunch of people rapping back and forth, which is always cool, especially if they're good at it. Uh, and I'm assuming these guys are because I know the Treacherous Three. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm totally down for this so far. I'm liking this a lot. All right, so if you look at the screen right here, uh, how do I point this way over here? It's This is kind of cool because it shows us pictures of the Cold Crush Brothers in the lower left. Uh, Theodore Fantastic Five and the Fantastic Five maybe on the right and the the crash crew way up on top here so this is kind of cool to see pictures of these guys um, just because we don't have a lot of videos from this time period that show what these guys look like and this is this is pretty cool I also need to say I absolutely freaking love that everyone on this poster is a person of color well and is african-american well no maybe there's hispanic guy there that, Fantastic. I mean, it's it's a new music created by this group of people, and uh, I, I mean, for decades, uh, for a long time, they they should own it and be the prime creators of it. I I love it, and I have no problem with people who are not, you know, black or African American or Hispanic or whatever making rap music. But I mean, this is music they created, so I'm totally down for them taking advantage of it. <laughs> I mean, this is just good. It, it, there's just no, it's just good. Oh, wow. Look at this picture. So these are all high school kids who are DJ or DJs or rappers who are coming to some event on oh this is March 13th 1987 oh that's really this is years later but even so this is super cool really a neat uh, I mean all of these things have been really cool so um we'll keep going <laughs> Sing the song, go with Robbie Dunn, cause one, I six, four, eight, eight, two, nine, and a tub. It's 
You know, that's something we don't see anymore. I'm looking at this picture uh, here on screen. Is like the crazy costumes from this, this time period that just faded away. Just gone. And I don't know if that was a leftover thing from the disco time period or what. But like just looking at this picture that's here on the screen, fantastic. These crazy outfits. Uh, I kind of wish. I mean, I, I know performers, uh, you know, Lady Gaga and her meat dress do all sorts of crazy fashion things, but this was something that was very, like a very early rap thing, and it's really crazy. Little off the beat there. Oh, that's neat. So I actually absolutely love how this song is being put together because like a lot of songs, excuse me, that seem like they would be super exciting and fun to record live or to, to see live, I think they've done a really good job of bringing this into the studio, I assume it's in the studio, and maintaining that energy because they have people in there with them and they're, they're treating it as if they're performing live. And it's totally great. Um, so I want to point out on this piece of paper here, uh, on the left-hand side, it says Harlem World's walkthrough metal detector. So there, <laughs> I'm sure it was issues of violence and stuff at the time. <laughs> Like that. Man, man, man. 
Okay, that's a really creepy picture of Muhammad Ali. Uh, these, like, artist lists are insane. Curtis Blow, Run DMC, Houdini, Lisa Lisa, and Cult Jam, Melly Mel, LL Cool J, Sparky D, Roxanne Shante, DJ Red Alerts, oh, God, Grandmaster Kaz, <laughs> just crazy. Hey, Memorial Day weekend, that's cool. Uh, I guess this is Labor Day. Oh, hey, on this one, 1985, I see the Beastie Boys down here. Really a good song. Just absolutely solid all the way through. I, I my own preference is to say it's maybe a little bit long, but not, I mean, it doesn't need to change. It's really a good song. I mean, that is, that is just an excellent song. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to listen to this again because I talked through a bunch of it, and I'm sorry about that, but uh, there's just too much cool stuff in this. It's a good song. There's all these just absolutely amazing pieces of paper that they're putting up in front of us here with all these fantastic, and the thing that I love about those is it shows you, shows all of us, how low-tech, bootstrapping kind of stuff was going on in these early days of rap, and all these people, Run DMC, and Beastie Boys, and uh, Cool Modi, like everybody, they were just kids on the street. I mean, obviously that changed relatively quickly, but like, it's amazing to see this stuff, and to know that they were all, <laughs> like, these, these huge shows with multiple multiple different artists performing and they just were there to try and like get by and get the word out about themselves fantastic stuff this i love this video i just i love this video for so many reasons um really like this one thank you so much uh hip-hop rap storage for this this it really it hits a lot of triggers for me and i love it um i hope you guys liked it this was a good one uh i would love to hear what you think because i'm there's just so much good in this song, and it just is great. I love it. Sorry, I'm rambling. Uh, Papa Squat! What am I doing? I'm checking out. Please like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate it so, so very, very much. Have yourself a good Labor Day weekend, and thank unions for that.